Are you showing your sideboard? Yeah, so we're going to go through sideboard now. So welcome back, everyone. We're looking at our sideboard uh, strategy here in the Cephalid Brunch versus Four Color Control matchup. So I was just looking at the cards that are bad against uh, Sock. So first of all, I don't want Wrath Effects. I don't want a Sorcery Speed, as much as it's a cantrip, a Sorcery Speed 1-1 one -one that doesn't really do much against him. Um, and I want to keep my mana open. I don't want Lightning Bolt in general. And Renin 6 is... Uh, Using its plus one, it's basically just constantly returning lands, so that's always going to be fine. But when I have the opportunity to take it out, because hitting one toughness creatures isn't always going to be relevant uh, in his main deck, because I don't know what his sideboard strategy is. We're just doing the what you what you would sideboard. Uh, that's an easy takeout. Uh, then I've also got uh, cards to come in. I'm definitely bringing in Ashiok, and I'm bringing in Sylvan Library because it's going to allow me to. Uh, just have that another source of card advantage and Veil of Summer. These are obviously includes. Then comes the amount of uh, graveyard disruption. So I'm definitely going to be bringing in uh, something like Nihil Spellbomb, which can just randomly uh, flush the graveyard. Uh, but I can also bring in Soul Guide Lantern. Now, it just depends on how much graveyard interaction he has. And the thing is, he's got... Uh, you know, mill the whole graveyard type effects where he wants to, you know, do his cephalid combo and just leaving a soul guide lantern on the battlefield for a while kind of, you know, scares him out of actually activating that plan. So it's possible that I also bring it in. I'm not sure whether I, I do. It just, it's, it depends. But these four for these four are not a problem. Uh, Snow-covered mountain I get to take out for carpet of flowers. Uh, what happens is I've actually lowered my red count. I've only got about uh, four, three or four red cards left in the deck anyway. And so having uh, removing this and just having a green soul ring is great. Now, the uh, last kind of choices are whether I want a pyroblast or not. In general, pyroblast is actually quite bad against Sox Field. As we've discovered, uh, I... Uh, in earlier sideboardings, I've tended to bring in a single Pyroblast effect uh, just for the for the, um, the fish itself, that's his oracle. But the issue there is it can rot in your hand when he's got lots of black and white interaction or black and uh, white threats. And uh, count, randomly countering a dig through time is, is great to spike, but at the end of the day, it's probably going to be quite dead most of the time. Uh, and if I assume that maybe his sideboard strategy is going to be uh, more hand disruption, which is black, then probably Pyroblast is bad, so I don't actually bring it in. Uh, and the last question is whether I bring in the last Soul Guide Lantern. The remaining cards are these uh, in consideration. I talked about taking out Ren and Six because of the not dealing one damage, uh, not, not really being relevant. Now, Liliana, I don't take out because it's really, really good in the Gifts Ungiven game plan uh, in returning, say, Snapcaster Mage for Acol and the like. Uh, and it can randomly uh, still win games with its ultimate, so I keep it in. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant is the other card that is uh, sketchy, but in reality, it's actually, you know, just because it doesn't do three damage for a um, uh, uh, Thassa's Oracle. And I've got things like Abrupt Decay and so on, which is the main removal I want to use on Thassa's Oracle. But the instant speed two damage is actually quite good because and better than Renin Six's one because Renin Six dies to Vendelian Click and Brazen Borrower, but Bone Crusher Giant deals with them, so I, I probably keep it in. If I choose to remove a card, uh, even though Oko is one point, it actually doesn't do uh, what you want to do against like a control a combo deck. But if he changes into you know a mid rangey game plan, I might regret taking Oko out. Um, but if I were going was going to bring in one of these cards, it would probably be for Oko. So in this instance, I'm not going to sideboard overly and I'm not going to bring these in. I'm going to leave these in the main deck, but they're going to be the considerations if I do want to bring in uh, one of these cards in game three. All right, uh, that's my sideboard strategy. So uh, Sok, do you, do you want to tell them about, because I don't know about your sideboard strategy because yeah. he's got a bit of a transformative sideboard. So we're playing as if uh, I don't know that. So yeah. what's, what's your strategy? Uh, so what I've done is I've taken out, because I know there's going to be a lot of graveyard hate so i've taken out my dread return my gifts aren't given mm -hmm. just while you're talking then i've just made another adjustment with dig through time and i think that's going to be good for me either um uh nasa amoeba pact of negation i don't really worry about my combo anymore because i'm <clears throat> partially excuse me transforming into more road deck going out with critters as best i can Took, took out the Swords to Plowshares and also the Savine's Reclamation again because I'm not going to... I don't want to interact too much with my cyborg, uh, with, mm -hmm. yeah, with my um, 
the combo. Uh, graveyard, yep. Um, so Lab Maniac goes out as well. Uh, Saws the Plowshoes and Teferi are just two other slots I wanted to remove. Because like I said, I want to go into into more of an aggressive plan in the, in the second game. Nice. So Spell Queller, just to catch you out. Cabal Therapy, again, maybe could be useful. I might get physics out of it. Monastery Mentor. Kitchen Finks to recur. Uh, Lingering Souls. Notion Thief, again, just to try to catch people out. Bloodgast and Dark Confidant. I like it. Yeah, it's being able to bring Dark Confidant in and not have Dig Through Time hit you for eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty nice. Yeah, it'd be I, like interesting the to see. I like the therapy and the gifts package, like main deck. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, well, but you might not have enough creatures to suck to it. I don't know, but yeah, it's good. I like the therapy. Yeah, I'll put it in now just to, to still be a bit more disruptive if I can. Yeah, it's good with the token and that. Yeah. There's that funny card that that um, Cabal Therapist or something. He's like a... Oh, the creature. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. If you're generating lots of tokens, I can see the Therapist being good, but uh, if you're not generating tokens, it's probably bad. Hmm. I've, got, I've got nine cards out, eight cards in, so maybe I need to put one more you, card. You in. can leave the dig through time in because <laughs> <laughs> it hits you for eight <laughs> with Bob, but uh, it's still a good card. <laughs> The only one that I'm thinking Maybe of, keep Teferian. Oh yeah, good. I like I like that. You should keep, yeah. you should bring in that um, copter. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah. smuggler's copter. Yeah, yeah, I like that. How many creatures you got post board? Uh, so we've got now one, two, three, four. Lingering souls, bloodcast, and five, six. So you might be up to about uh, 15, 15 ish creatures then maybe. Yeah, which wait. is good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so because if, you, if you've only got twelve creatures or something, that's the copters a bit iffy. But I've still got a lot of critters still in the main. Which is yeah, yeah. I know. you're just gonna have to count them at some point. Random. It's worth trying. Random combo creatures. It's a great card. Yeah. All right, we'll see how we go. Yeah, this is this is really interesting because you know we're we're sideboarding as if we um, don't know each other's game plans, mm. and I really like the way that socks uh, sideboard is is. Uh, engineered to you know destroy people who go ah you're a combo deck and they bring in their pyroblasts they you know shave on all of that removal and go for their interaction and then you're just jamming like little hate bears and you know that confidant and uh you know mental monastery mentor all that kind of business lingering souls just you know how, lingering souls single-handedly can just destroy a control game because the control deck's like okay yeah. i've taken out my toxic deluge so they cast Lingering Souls and you're like, oh, I guess I counter it. And then you cast another Lingering Souls and oh, I guess I counter it. And now the counter spells are gone and you just play, you know, Kumbal or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I, did, I haven't put Kumbal in, even though I've got him on the sideboard. Oh, really? I think Kumbal's great against me. Yeah? Yeah. I think probably better than, better than the Copter. Okay. I might do that then. I'll take the, uh, mm. I'll take the Copter out. I think the Kumbal will probably, on average, deal me, you know, six damage or something, and then finally die. But by that point, you've changed the race, and then you're racing with other creatures. Okay, it's done. I think. Mm. No worries. Okay, so... Uh, so I think you're on the play now, because play. I was on play last game. Sure. Give it a good shuffle. And then we'll, uh, we'll see how this uh, strategy works out. Works out. All right. All right, I'll draw a seven. Let's have a look. Five, six, uh, it's um, fine. My hand is fine. Don't know if it's uh, good on the draw, but it's fine. Oh, no, one land hand. Mm. Well, whilst you shuffle up, I'll show my hand to the okay, audience. Uh, so my hand is this. This is fine. It's it's very very uh, <laughs> it's very much a oh I wish I was on the play hand, <laughs> but I'm going to be leaning heavily on this really. All right, uh, you can have a look at the camera now. So, right, clear. Okay. All right. So I'm just still shuffling up. Okay. I've got right. obligatory mention of this guy on my sideboard still, so that could that can do something. Are you playing him as a 
point card or not at this point? Yeah, this is a six point deck. Okay. Yeah. Just are you six. playing the, the card that you said you'd be leaning on? Are you having the like the, the do you have the variant of that? Good yes. Four color deck. Yeah, yeah, it's the the card that's better than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I can't keep again one land hand. I uh, just go to a sensible hand. Oh, I've got a six again. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Don't want to play against five. Ugh, yuck. Uh, part five on the play, and I'm on eight cards once I draw. <laughs> Plus Lutri. Plus Lutri. I'm on nine cards <laughs> when I draw. <laughs> All right. Let's see if it's a little bit better. Yep. Yeah, okay. So I will place. Mm. Uh, this underneath and I'll play land fetch yep is it going to be a thought seize oh, I wish it was but no. <laughs> I'm going to like just like a Savannah Lions variant oh. <laughs> preordain I'm just going to preordain yep go for it and then that'll be my turn. So, alrighty. One, two, uh, one on top, one on the bottom, and draw off the top. Nice. Yes. All right. I'll I'll draw. I'll play a land, and I'll pass turn. Untap. Draw. Oh, okay. Speaking of preordain, you know that. Uh, that instant speed enchantment that has uh, Thassa on it, and it, it's like two mana preordain. Sea of Omen or something. Yeah, they call it Sea Ordain. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's funny. I haven't played with that card. Is it? No, nah, it's it not okay. No, nah, it's okay. not good. <laughs> Look, Im impulse isn't good, so therefore that's not good. <laughs> the, yeah. Okay. You're right. You're never getting card advantage out of it, are you? even when you pass no. it back. Yeah, you, fl you you do the thing and then it's like, look at four cards, draw a card. Impulse looks yeah. at four cards and draws a card. Yeah, true. Yeah. I'll do a brutality against you. All right. Modes. Oh, uh, just to look at your hand. All right, no escalate. No. Uh, so you can target Manalik and Colligan's Command. Ooh. Um, and the rest of the lands? Uh, rest of the lands and Kess. Oh, and Kess. Um, I reckon Colligan's command, please. Yep. No greed for me. All right. I'll get a mine. Yep. All right, I'll draw. Uh, hmm, interesting. So, you, so are you playing Green Nixus effectively? Uh, it's it's not Grixis because Gri uh, it actually only has like five red cards, six red cards. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's more bug plus red. That's why I play the... Oh, yeah. um, the uh, Zagoth trio for the bug colors. Yep. Right. Uh, okay, so I'm going to pass turn to you. Sure. On tap, uh, draw. Play land. Attempt to cast Lingering Souls. <laughs> this is the exact thing. This is literally the thing that we're talking about. Oh, man. <sighs> okay. Uh, well, I'm going to mana leak the Lingering Souls. Sure. It was bad. <laughs> another, in another interesting sideboard option for the Esper deck would be just like literally like 10 Savannah lines in the sideboard yeah. with, the equi with, with the equipment. <laughs> yeah. It's not a bad idea. They'll get them. <laughs> and you can right. play the black ones that have the recursion and stuff. Yeah. All right. I'm going to untap and I'll draw. Okay. All right, not bad. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, Honda. Sure. Let's go one, two, and three. All right, we'll keep. We'll keep these. We'll put them in this order. This order here. And I will draw. Okay. And then we'll play this, and I'll pass ten. Play land. 
Uh, I'm going to flashback. Lingering souls. Yep. yep. You got it. Okay. So two little long ones and I'm going to end my turn. Alrighty. Uh, I'll go to my turn. So tap and draw. Okay. Uh, let's go. To, uh, I'll play this and I'm going to uh, would not be ideal to lose my Kess here. Uh, I'm going to pass him. On tap. Draw. Uh, play land. Mm -hmm. I'll declare attacks. Yep. Thing for two. I'll take it. Um, how many cards do you have? I've got five cards, two of which you know, Kesson and the Badlands. I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to attempt to cast Thassa. Ooh, this is Oracle. All right, I'm going to spell snare this. You spell snare it. And you've got two cards? I got four cards, but two, you know. Kess and Badlands. Okay. Um, I'll say your turn. Okay. I will. Untap and draw. Okay, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play this and I will at least, yeah, I will play Kess. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast a Ponder. Exile yeah. that. One, oops, two and three. Okay. Let's Go top and yeah, like that. Okay. And then I'll draw this card and I'll pass turn to you. Okay, so I'll untap. You're all tapped out, you got one. All land. tapped out, all tapped out, one land oh, in hand. Four cards in hand. Uh, four, uh, four cards, but three cards you don't know. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Jace. Oof, nice. Yep, that resolves. Yes. Yep. All right. Um, that's good to know. Um, <laughs> I will fetch. Mm hmm I hope this works. There's a the last card there, Demonic Consultation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you don't have to go through the motions. I okay. cannot I cannot interact with that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I could hold up I could hold up Assassin's Trophy, uh, you know, but that's super conservative and do nothing. <laughs> right. Um, well well I I I played this for the ponder and my hand was this, right? So <laughs> yeah, like I couldn't just I couldn't just sit here, so I had to ponder with this, and my ponder was into um, into this. So if I untap, I think I've got a good game. Yeah. But I I can't untap. <laughs> I'm very dead. Nice work. All right. Yeah, the only other card I had was I tried. I just wanted to weed you out with the Thassa because I had yeah. Uh, I had the unearth as well in my hand. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was good. You yeah, had two different ways to combo then. Mm. Nice work. All right. Uh, so that was you on the play. So there's yeah. one with me on the play now. Uh, yeah, that was strong. Yeah. I like the uh, beat beat down plan and then just randomly. Oh, yeah, yes. tapped out. I win. <laughs> Do you think the Thassa combo could see another point at some point, Sarb, or you don't know? Oh, look. Uh, Time Vault is four points. Mm. Uh, Thassa combo is essentially three points. Yeah. 
uh, FASA combo is literally everywhere and Time Vault sees intermittent play. So and Time Vault feels easier to interact with. Time Vault's easier to interact with. Uh, however, on the upside, Time Vault does have better, what do you call it, you know, interactions itself because they're both pieces are artifacts. So you can find both pieces easily. Uh, you can recur both pieces easily because recurring artifacts is quite easy as opposed to recurring. Yeah. Uh, easier on your colors too. And easier on your colors. So like there's, there's definitely arguments for, for and against. Um, but yeah, Thassa's Oracle combo is everywhere now. It's probably a case of just giving it some time, seeing how it pans out. And then if it's oppressive in one year's time, then it means it's probably been around at three points for too long. Are they playing, but they're not playing Cephalo Illusion Sava? No, no, that, this is your build. Your build's different from the um, Esper ones. All right, this is a keep. All right, I'm on the play. So we're going to go, uh, okay, sequencing. So I've got a sequence of lands, crazy. All right. um, I'm going to thought sees you. No, really? <laughs> Nasty. I've got nice cards. Nice. Wow. Yeah, this is a this is a good hand. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Drew, what do you take? <laughs> Uh, I don't know your hand. I don't know your hand, so it's hard for me to judge. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the tainted pack. I'll just sh I'll show the audience my hand. So, uh, yeah, this is my hand. So, a lot of interaction there. So I think I'm gonna be uh, potentially taking the. Um, yeah, I agree with pack. you. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll take pack. Your cards have gone away. My cards are gone. All clear. No worries. And then I'll pass turn to you. So draw. Um, I'll play the. Now I'll play the. Blue Delta. Delta. Yep. Um, I'll say your turn. All right. I'm tap and I'll draw. Okay. Let's go. Land and pass turn. So draw, play land. Um, I'll thought see. I'm going to respond. All right. Uh, I'm going to cast a veil of summer. We'll oh. <laughs> get a trop here. Mm. Bad times. Bad times. Yeah, I drew a card that I could have played last turn, and I'm like, nah, keeping Veil of Summer open but, is but, so much but, better. But, hold on. Um, I haven't named the player yet. Does that matter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do I have to oh, name it at the beginning? You do have to name it when you cast it. So well, if, I would have named it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I will... Draw? Draw a card off it. Good old cryptic command here. Then I'll fetch? Yep. Um, <laughs> underground C, someone 19, mm -hmm. and I was just gonna. Can I play blue spell still? Uh, you can do anything you want, okay? Yep. You can just play normally, but okay. my stuff can't be counted and I can't be targeted. Okay, so sock, sock, you should play Wolf Infiltrate and main deck. What? Uh, I'm going to mental misstep this. Sure. And your turn. No, right, untap. And draw. All right. So this is... Oh, where is it? Uh, this is what I drew last turn. A preordain. And I wanted to snap the preordain off, but I'm like, keep the veil of summer. <laughs> keep it open. So important. All right. We're going to keep both cards. We'll keep them like this. And then I'll draw and I'll pass turn to you. So untap, uh, draw. Three, two, uh, go. All right, nothing in a turn. Untap and draw. Okay. Three, one, three. Now let's go land and I will make a 
I can do here? Or maybe it's not this land. I think it's this land and it's pass. Go for it. Okay, draw. Play land. Um, and I'm going to enter. All right. Uh, end of your turn. I won't do anything. I'll just go to my turn. All right. Uh, let's go. Oh, so wait a minute. You drew. I'm just going to. Oh, you're going to click me or something? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to click you. Yeah, sorry. Cool, cool. 18. Uh, I'll go to 16. No, I won't. I'll go to 18. 17. And I'll attempt to click you. Okay. Yeah. I'll respond to the click. Uh, so this is in my draw phase. Yeah, so, draw phase. Yeah. All right. Looks very good. Uh, I'll respond to the click. Green, black here. This one. Okay, this one, colors. All right, I think I'd do it like this. All right, I'm going to cast brainstorm in response. Yep, that's one. One, two, and three. All right, now we put away. One. Two. Mm -hmm. Put this away. That's away and that's away. All right, I'll put these two cards back. I'll put them in that order. All right, and then your cl click's going to resolve. Yep. All right. It's choices, choices, all right? There you are, abrupt decay. Yep, decay, lily, borrower, and nasset. They're all very bad. Um... Yeah, I figured like rather than put away good stuff, just leave all four good stuff in there <laughs> and let you make a decision. I reckon the uh, mm, this is the longest staying power. Yeah. But I, I get, think I get to two for one you, right? Where I slam it and I kill your click. Whereas this is not a two for one. Mm, but you don't know what I've got in my hand. Yeah, that's true. It, it very, very strongly depends on what you've got in hand. Uh, I think it's not this. Uh, no. All right, I get uh, the Liliana. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I think that's the strongest one. Um, so, do I have to? So, when do I fetch my land? Do I have to fetch my land before this resolves? Otherwise, I draw a card on top. Because before the before the click resolves, you can't because, respond to him choosing. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. So I have to do it before. Which yeah. me fetching a different color off this might change whether or not you take abrupt decay. Like if I don't fetch green, then yeah. maybe no, you leave not. me with abrupt decay. Or if I fetch green, maybe you take it. No, I'm gonna go for Lilia. So, oh, I'm just saying this. This might give you more information. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna fetch a land, and that's gonna tell you what I might be set up to play, or maybe not. So, you can you can decide from there. Uh, it might it might play into your decision. I'm not sure. Uh, so I want green, uh, blue, black. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, you can um, you can. I don't know if that factors into your decision at all. No, no, it's fine. Yeah. All right. So this is gone. Has to go. Yeah. All right. Then I draw a new card. Yeah. All right. And then I go to my turn. Yep. My main phase. Okay. So uh, click. So I play this land. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bounce now, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to brazen borrow a bounce your click now. Sure. Uh, and then I'm going to pass turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Run it back. <laughs> Draw. All right. Ooh. Why? 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 So I remember you got the loot tree as well. Yeah, I know. He's sitting right here in front of me, like on my on my camera tripod, like that, <laughs> waiting waiting to get played. All right. So that's interesting now. I think I'll do rest you. No, that's good. It's good. Uh, all right. And take a decay Narset counter spell. I think I'll take the uh, abrupt decay. Yep, you got it. Yep. And your turn. All right, and, and draw. Okay, so. Interesting. All right, let's go. I think this is good. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's got red, black. Good. I'm going to play Dak Baden. Sure. All right, and we'll, we'll draw two cards. One. Two and discard two. We don't need this, and we don't need this because you got click in hand. So yeah, All right. discard one, discard two. All right, so I discard counter spell and carpet of flowers, okay. and then I'll pass down. Untap, draw. Uh, I'll play land, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna uh, ooh, end turn. All right. Uh, I'll go to my draw phase. Maybe you click me. We'll see. All right. Am I, I'm in my draw phase now. Yeah, I'll attempt to click you. All right. Cool. Two. Three. All righty. Actually, just... I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast click. Yep. But I'm going to, if it resolves, or well, I'm going to name myself. Uh, I might, I'll, I'll respond to it on the stack though, just because oh, yeah. uh, it might change what I, what I do and what you do as well. So, uh, so we're going to uh, respond with ancestor equal targeting me. Yeah, yeah, yep. All right, I'll draw three. One, two, and three. Uh, okay, so the click will resolve, and then who do you target? I'm going to target myself. Okay, uh, that's fine. Go for it. The batter's gone? Yep. Underneath. And I'll just draw off that. Yep. Nice. All right, I'll proceed to my main phase. Yep. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go one... I'm going to cast an Arkham's Astrolabe. Yeah. And I'll draw a card. And then I'll play a land. And we've got some uh, nasty, nasty little fella there. Um, 
All right, before I play land, I'm probably going to do this. All right, let's loot first. Yep. Uh, one and two. All right. Yep, didn't, didn't change my land play, it looks like. Uh, so we'll discard, discard this and two and this. All right, so I discard uh, land and cling to dust. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll play my land. Okay. Uh, I believe, I believe it's past turn. Okay, so untap. Draw for the tip. Mm. Play Prismatic Vista. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll declare attacks. Yep. And what what life total are you on? I'm on fifteen. No, I'll hit. I'll hit that. All right. So you still got you still got the mentor just sitting there, right? Okay. Yep. We'll take we'll take it. Okay. And then I'm going. You wouldn't to... chum with the brazen borrow? No. Because okay. he could, he could. If I tap myself out, he could do anything. Combo out, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And saving three be... loyalty is not worth it. He's I'm an always, when I see, when I see Nasa and Dark, I want to hit their hand with the Dark. I'll fetch. Do you understand? Yeah. When you when you got this combo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't do it yet though. He's got too many cards yeah. to be able to just combo off if I, even if I target him because he could loot yeah. one. Yeah. Look at it and then. Set up a combo the next turn. I could do it next turn, but not this. Not I couldn't do it this turn without shields down. Oh, um, I'm going to because you've still got counter spell in your hand, don't you? So, no, I discarded counter spell. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm going to attempt to cast lingering souls. Oh, it's a good card. Good card. Uh, all right. Lingering Souls is going to resolve. And then I'll hold priority and cast it again from my graveyard. Uh, that one I might respond to. Okay. So, uh, so let's go respond with... Uh, I'll fetch, fetch here. Let's grab ourselves an island. All right. Yeah, it's hard when you don't have your uh, don't have your toxic deluge in the deck anymore, right? <laughs> okay. Then, then. Yeah, I think the, the the souls and the mentor tokens warrant keeping that in. Yeah, but I, I don't know about them. I've side I've sideboarded no. in a way that I would against a combo deck. So Fair enough. I hypothetically don't know about them. <laughs> All right. Uh, so second lingering souls. I will snap cast a mage and I'll cast a counter spell. Cool. Yeah, and your turn. All right. Okay. I can't get greedy with Acol. All right. Well, let's untap and draw. All right. And the reason you can't get greedy with Acol is because I now have three islands. So I'll play Mystic Sanctuary. I'll put Acol on top of my deck. And then I shall... So one, two. Uh, you've got four, uh, three flyers. Yep. I'd like I'd like Nasa to survive. Uh, one, two, three. And you have how many cards in hand? Two, two plus the mental that you know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not time to dack you yet, right? <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it is. But I think it's I would. But to make him discard a card, but he gets to see, he gets to, he gets, uh, 
He gets to see your card, though. It's always a tricky part. Mm. It's a really, really risky. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go one, two, here, and then one, two, three. All right. Uh, mentor. Mentor. All right, so let's, I don't think it's time. It's not time. Be patient. Let's be patient. All right, so we're going to go with these three. It's that and then that. All right, uh, I believe it is a uh, attack with Snapcaster Mage for two. Um, sure. Uh, and then I will deck myself. I'll draw yep. two. I'll draw these two. And I'll discard uh, one and two. Three, four. Yep. And I'll discard uh, land and Nasa. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to pass 10 to you. How many cards don't I know of? Uh, you know a call, you don't know the other two cards. So three unknowns. Uh, th uh, two unknowns, sorry. Yeah, so untap. Draw. Hmm. I'll attempt to cast Don't Forge Mystic. Ooh, nice. Yep, that resolves. So trigger. Uh, These batter skulls shuffle back into the deck, but you got to be pretty confident you're killing Dak, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I've got to think. Oh, cast Shuko. Okay. Yep. So that's in your hand. And do you want to cast it? Um, or just keep it in hand? I'm tempted to... You could represent some monastery mentor tokens, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can mentor Shuko. Yeah, I'm trying to think here. <laughs> I'll, I'll actually cast your call. Okay. Yep. That resolves. Then I'll cast Cephalid. Aha, I see what you did there. <laughs> trying to trying to get me, eh? Uh, all right, so I'd like to not lose the game. <laughs> if that if that's okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go let's go. Um, two, three. Uh, hmm, let's see. Two. All right, let's let's not lose. Uh, I'm gonna go one, two, and three. One, two, three. Yeah. All right. Uh, I will Colligan's command. I'll destroy the Shuko. And I'll do two damage to Vendillion Click. Uh, so Sheffield's actually in play, isn't it? No, no, it's on the stack. It's on the stack. Oh. Yep. So you're going to kill the Destroy Sugar? Yep. And kill the Click. And kill the Click. Okay. Yep. And Would you should you loot through there, Sav, or are you going to keep nah. it for a call? No, nah, no way. Because uh, it, all it all it does is um, return no creatures and um, uh, kill one silver's token, which I don't want to do. I'm going to fly both of these at Dak. At Dak? Yep. 
Uh, let's go. So you're tapped out, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to flash Ice Fang Coatl into play. Yeah. And draw a card. Uh, and then I'll block one of the tokens. Yeah. Yeah. So one gets through to that. Yeah, he takes one. And that's end turn. All right, arm tap. And draw. All right, I'm going to cast Ancestry Recall and I'm going to retain priority. Yeah. Now I'm going to cast Lutri. Yeah. We're going to be looking forward to this, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was coming. Uh, yeah, it was coming, right? It was coming. Uh, I'll tap. Uh, so I need, yeah, I need red. Tap this. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'll cast Lutri. Uh, so I'll copy this Ancestor Recall. Uh, I'll draw three cards. One, two, and three. Then this will resolve. I'll draw three cards. One, two, and three. All right, so we're back up to up to uh, eight cards. All right. Uh, so let's go. So you got like a one, two, and a cephalid, which is a one, one. Is he one, 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 yeah, one, one. Okay, no problem. Okay, so uh, we'll go. We'll go a land, and then we shall play a an Ashiok Dream Render. Sure. And I will target you. So four cards. Yep. One, uh, two, three, four, and then they're removed. And they get exiled. Yep. All right. And then... I will not attack and I will play a hex drink and I'll pass him. All right. One, two. Yeah, I was holding off the A call for a while because I'm like, I, if I draw six cards, I should have enough action to just finish the game. So I can trade like substandard Colligan's command, you know. Like, yeah, you, know, you could have. I think that's fair. But you could have K commanded the cephalid guy, so he can't drop no, a nomad. No, no, because the cephalid's on the stack. Well, fair enough. Yeah, so I can't. Could have kill responded him. to the Shuko um, equip. Oh, uh, potentially, yeah. Yeah. But no, I don't, I don't think I lose if I draw six cards because all I need is like a counter spell. <sighs> you can lose here though. Pretty sure. I'm uh, pretty sure I won't. could. I I could lose here, but I'm pretty sure I won't. <laughs> yeah. Because Ashiok, you know, whilst it doesn't interrupt the um, the specific combo, there's it's going to be very stops, very hard for him to do it. Yeah. yeah. It stops muddle and all that stuff. Yeah. It's basically about mentor. If he can mentor, then he can get there. Yep. That guy resolves combo. Uh, I'm going to say your turn. All right. Did I not even DAC last turn? Wow. All right, I'll untap and I'll drop. Guess my library's getting low. <laughs> All I, right. I, I, I lost with no library to stop the other night. Oh, I yeah, because you just keep DACing. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just forgot to DAC, to be honest. Uh, let's DAC and draw two. One and two. And I'll discard one and. Two. One and two. I just got some lands here. All right. So can't cast many non creature spells. All right. Uh, so Kumbal, is he a 2 3 or a 2 2? He's a 2 3. 2 3, yeah. I thought it was pretty big. All right. So uh, let's see. How many cards? Do you, do you have a pretty Big library. Yeah. 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 Okay. I figured, figured you might. All right. Yeah. All right. So I can make a swole hex drinker, which is fine. Um, got a bunch there. Got this, uh, this here. Three. 
All right, let's go, let's play, play it safe, hey? Two, three, and then we have two, three here. Yeah, all right, we're gonna play it safe. Uh, so this guy levels by one, two, three, and then one, okay. Uh, so I'll play a land and we will level up Hex Drinker to a four, four. Yep. Two and three. All right, so here's a four, four. Uh, he's quite large, so he's a four, he's quite large. He can probably push through a little bit of damage here, which is nice. Um, you could triple block, which means I get to kill something. All right. Uh, I'm going to activate Ashiok once. Yeah. So four cards. Me? Yep. Yep. Got a one, two, three, four. All right. What were they? Just some, no, no specific combo pieces. Notion, right. Thief. Notion Thief. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Nice. Jute and All right. No problem. Uh, okay. I'm going to, I'm actually just going to sit pretty then. I'm going to pass turn to you. Go on tap. Draw. All right. In your draw phase, I'm going to click you. Um, you know, click me. Yep. I can't do anything about that. Okay, you got Grand Abolisher, you got Mentor, you got Spell Pierce. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put the Mentor on the bottom of your library. Oh. Um, yeah, this game's over, I think. Mm, it's possible you still get in it. If I cast too many spells into Kambal. The Abolisher? So I can't cast spells during your turn? During my right. turn, your opponents can't cast spells or activate cool. abilities. I'll, I'll flash in Brazen Borrower in response. Yeah. And I'll say your turn. Alrighty. Until... All righty. And draw. Okay, so... Uh, how many cards do you have in your hand now? Two. Two. Spell oh. Pierce and an unknown. Okay. All right. So let's go into attacks. Uh, see, so I'm. Yeah, right, I'll just fly over for six. Uh, I'll block one with my one one. Yep. All right. You can kill. Uh, I don't know which one. Click maybe. It's probably much of a muchness. Yeah. Depends which one you want to have in my graveyard for K command, potentially. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it will be fine. Uh, all right. And then we'll, we'll go. This is, yeah. So we've got okay. So I'm going to cast. Spell Seeker. Yeah. I'm just going to grab uh, Assassin's Trophy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to trophy the uh, the guy that means I can't cast spells and I'll lose two life. Okay. And I gain two. Yep. Um, yep. All right. So I'm back to. Done. You get a land, you get a basic land if you'd like. If there's any in the deck. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, there should be. Let's go for land. Uh, yeah. Planes. Shuffle. Nice. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, so I will DAC here. I could have dacked before all this, but I really wanted to see which one works out. All right, so we'll dack oh. away two lands uh, oh, and I'll pass turn. Are you doing anything with the... I thought you were doing the other one, the uh, make me 
the scarf. Or no, that. no, that's just me. I'm just doing it to myself. Um, might as well level this guy at one. All right, go for it. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, okay. So I'm tired. Oh, I was just talking to myself with that. I'm just going to play collective brutality and escalate. All right, what would you like to uh, do with so the modes? So look at your hand and give one of your target creatures minus two, minus two. Uh, so you could do the flying guy because he's, he's going to be the one that kills you, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, okay, I'll respond. Uh, so you've got, you've got spell pierce in hand, right? That's it. Yeah. Okay. So I will, I will pitch this one. Yeah. Okay. I'll pitch cast force of negation, uh, pitching evasive action. Yeah. So you lose two and I gain two. Yep. And that's exiled as well. Okay. Yeah. So I go to 10. Uh, Okay, so I'm on uh, 11, 16, yeah. Yep. And your turn. All right. So you got one card now, right? Yeah, spell piece. Oh, this guy's still alive. Okay. I'll draw. All right, we'll do the lock thing now, right? Okay, so I'll play Leovold. Yep. And I'll duck you. So just draw one. You just discard. Uh, discard both your cards. Two. All right. Uh, and then your life total is 15, 16 or 15? 16, all right. All right, so life total is 16. So we go one, two, three. Okay, so we have, okay, so pay. Four, I'll cast Kess and I will uh, decay your cephalid and I'll lose, lose two. So you're triggering, uh, you're targeting it, so I've got, to, I've got to move three. Yep. So one, two, three. Yep. And then he's dead. All right. So I lose, I go to eight. You'd gain two life from that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. And then I'll then I'll rumble in. So I attack with uh, Lutri and Brazen Borrower. And, How much is that? Six. Uh, and uh, Hex Drinker. So in total, it's ten. Okay. Take ten. Six and seven, two. So I'm on eight. And then I'll mill you, and you exile your graveyard. So one, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. And then I'll pass turn. So untap, draw. Uh, what do we got here? Two, three. Mentor. Nice. Yep. Results. Uh, go. All right, I'll get a mine. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's over. It's, it's pretty nasty. I can't, I, can't, I can't block your flyers and you can make hex It makes this guy massive. Yeah, yeah I'm my, only on eight. This is my hand. Yeah. And I've got Kess to uh, either remove a critter and bash through or just draw six cards again, right? With that and gush. Yeah. All right. Very convincing. Too easy. Too easy. Mm. There are a couple of windows there. I was pretty worried about the uh, the mentor. When you clicked me, you took the right thing, right? You took the lily. That, that would have been pretty nasty. It would have been over much quicker, maybe. Mm. Mm. Sure. Was that two games on sideboards? Or one? 
I think that was only one. That was wow, that was... nice. <laughs> Get one more in. <laughs> That was a very long game. <laughs> Grindy. Yeah, control doesn't win fast, hey? Uh, all right, let's, let's play one more. And now it's, uh, what was that? That was me on the uh, draw. So now I'm on the yeah. play. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to go again into your side or do I want to go back into my sideboard? Uh, I, I'm not going to change mine just so that we can see how it see? pans out with the whole I don't know your sideboard strategy yeah. type of yeah. thing. Um, but how did your sideboard work out? Did it work out fine? Uh, I think it was I, good. The mentor was terrifying. Yeah, the mentor was really good. I regret. I think I've taken out part of my piece of the puzzle with the um, illusionist, which ah, uh, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether I still want that package in or not. How many cards do you? Does that need to be to to bring? How many cards do you need to bring in to to keep that alive? Is uh, if it's only one card, then maybe that's fine. Maybe you keep one card in to have that combo. No, I would, I would need three. Uh, hold on, two. I I would need two cards. Two cards. Two. Well, maybe then you take the cephalid out. I don't know. Yeah. If by itself the cephalid's bad, but but then again, cephalid, it means cephalid could still get me with the uh, get you with the uh, with the oracle. Ah, uh, I see. You can still do that as long as you've got the oracle in your hand. I, I see. Think. Yeah, as long as you've got the oracle, you can mill yourself entirely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Maybe, maybe you want to keep Duke through time in. No nah, action. No, no, no. All right, let's have a go here. All righty, let's have a look. Yeah, this is a keep. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, I'll keep this. Alrighty. Uh, I'll start us off. We're going to play this and pass 10. Okay, so draw, uh, play this and pass 10. Alrighty. I'll draw. All right, I'll play a wooded foothills and I'll pass as well. Draw. Mm. I'll play this. Uh, Attempt to cast Collective Brutality, just one mode, which is basically looking at your hand. Ah, uh, I see. Um, I'll, I will uh, fetch and I will spell snare that. I don't want you looking at my hand. Yours. Uh, okay, so I'm on 19. Uh, I'll also fetch still at end of turn with this one. So I go to 18 and I'll get a tapped Zagoth Triome. Yep. So... Uh, we've got this and we've got the Zagoth Trium, wherever that might be, my little uh, temporary proxy until until they come out and we can excitedly get our hands on them. <laughs> there's some interesting arts, aren't there? There's like a, there's a, there's a couple of uh, different art options. Yeah, I haven't actually seen them, so it's interesting mm. to see you playing with them. So yeah, the... Uh, the, the art of the originals looks really nice, but there's also some kind of like edgy, interesting art as well. Uh, okay, so I'll bring that in tapped and, and yep. untap and draw. Okay, I'll play this and I will fetch and I'll get myself uh, interesting. I want a basic here, obviously, because it's a basic, uh, but let's get ourselves basic island i reckon mm -hmm. and we'll play this sure okay uh, and then i'll activate it and potentially it might lock you out don't know if you've got a preordain in hand or something maybe we'll find out soon enough um, i think i actually want basic yeah i want basic island yep all right so activate that and look at four one two Three and four. Ooh, interesting. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a regrowth and then I will pass turn to you. Okay. So I'll tap your play planes. Uh, I'll attempt to play Kambal. Oh, he's good. Yep. 
he resolves. That's it. Done. All right. Untap. Now it's non-creature spell, not instance of sorcery. Any kind of non-creature spell. Non-creature spell. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Let's go and activate this first and have some choices. One, two, three, and four. All right. So we'll take this and put the rest on bottom, random order. Okay. So I have to show you what that is. It's Ancestor Recall. Yep. Um, all right. So Kumba will be able to kill my Narset. Uh, I'm going to cast Ancestral Recall and I lose two. Yep. I'm going to. So, right. that's right. so I'll draw one, two, and three. Okay, uh, then I'm going to play this uh, Mystic Sanctuary and I'll put Ancestor Recall on top of my library. Yep. All right. And I'm going to lose some life here again. Uh, I'm going to cast Liliana Last Hope. I'll lose some life. Sure. Go to 14. Uh, and I'll just make him a zero power creature. So two, two is four, yeah. And then I'll pass turn to you. And, uh, uh, I draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. I will cast. You're tapped out. I'm tapped out. All right. I'm on seven I'll... cards, but I'm tapped. Shuka. Yep. Uh, equip. Ah, uh, he's big now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and kill, kill your kill Nasa. Yeah. yeah, nice yeah. work. So you got doing back there. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Nice work. And I'll do it now. I'll play a brainstorm. Yep, go for it. So one, two, three. Uh put two back. I don't think I'll need that. One and uh, I'll do two and I'll play a land. Yep. And then I'll say your turn. Alrighty. Uh, let's untap and draw the A call. Okay. Uh, do I call now? Yeah, maybe. All right, so we've got one, two here. Um, let's go. All right, well, obviously, we're going to make him a one, one, right? No, one, two. Yeah, he's a one, two now. Okay. Uh, let's go. Got mana up. Just going to cast regrowth here. Very boring regrowth. I'm going to target a land. How boring is that? <laughs> Uh, so we've lost Sock, but we'll get him back in a second. I'll pause. All right, we're back. Sock has returned. And we can uh, just, I'll just mention what I did. I did a really boring regrowth. As much as I want to, you know, get my A call back uh, again and again. I'm going to regrowth a land. So I lose two life. So you end up gaining two life again. Oh, okay. All right. yeah. And I just do the, the boring old, I want to hit my land drop. <laughs> two life to hit a land drop. Uh, and your, your Kumbal is a one, two. Because yep. of Liliana. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to pass the turn to you. I'm so you've got you got seven cards, you got Ancestral Recall yep. as well. Ancestral Recall in hand, seven cards. Yeah. Um, I'll draw. Yep. Go for it. 
and I'll swing. So that's on tap. I'll swing one at uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got a ticking down to four. Yeah, and I'm gonna say your turn. Alrighty, uh, end of turn. I will fetch. Uh, let's fetch with this. Go down to uh, eleven. And I'll just get a tiger here. All right. Now, uh, Kumbal doing a lot of work here, obviously. Lots of, uh, lots of damage coming in. Uh, I will flash in a Coatl here just to draw a card. Sure. All right, I'll draw a card. Okay, and then I'll get on my turn. And tap. And I'll draw. All right, we will make him smaller again. He's just still a one, two. Yeah. Uh, but I don't have death touch yet because I've only got the one snow covered. Okay. Uh, so I'll play a land here. All right. And I think I'm going to... What's this? One, two, three. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to play this... Nihil spell bomb, and I'm just going to leave it there. Hey, okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, wait, wait a second. If I do that, I lose heaps of life. <laughs> let's not do that. I think I have to do the thing. All right. Let's do the thing. Uh, okay. I'm going to now bone crush a giant. Your your guy that's a one two. Ah, hold lose, on. I lose, lose life. Two? Yeah. So I go to nine. Um, I'll respond. Yep. All right. Um, so I'll, I'll go for an island. Mm -hmm. Do we go for an island? Yep. Yeah. Island. I will I've already up try and protect him. I don't know if I'm going to protect him. Maybe force me to cast some spells into your Kambal again for more more life loss. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I lose one. Um, one, two, three. I'm going to cast Vendillion Click. Ooh, very nice. Um, hmm, interesting. Very interesting. So, let's see. You could... I've got to play around some things, right? Okay, I will respond to click with a counter spell, and then I lose life again. Uh, yep, so you lose another two. And... Seven. And I'm going to... It's a lot of damage otherwise, right? <laughs> it is. All right, so... Kambal dies. Nice. All right, that guy's exiled over here. Uh, okay, so maybe I can start attacking. Your life total is so high, though. <laughs> I'll attack for one. <laughs> okay. Embarrassing uh, attack. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I want 26. 26, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass the turn. <laughs> so you've got two cards. On the... Yeah, so Bone Crusher is in exile, and then I've got uh, five cards total, one of which is Ancestry Recall. Untap, draw. Oh, I knew this would happen. Um, interesting. Well, I can't actually. All right. Mm. I'm seven, so I could probably die to like a mentor or something here. Yeah, I've got to think of things I've got to do here. Uh, I'll do a kitchen finks. Ooh. Right, Kitchen Finks is actually going to 
probably get there. <laughs> um, uh, yep, kitchen fix resolves. Oh, I get another two. There's so many creatures that just like are two creatures, you know, or lingering resolves. There's four creatures. And then, and then I'll uh, I'll equip. Yep, those are four two. Yep, go. Okay, uh, let's see. End of turn, I think I will fetch. Uh, yes, yeah, I'll fetch here. Okay, we'll go to six, not the best spot, but uh, we'll get a, let's get a green source, I reckon. Okay. Uh, do we need, yeah, we need basic green so that we can uh, try and turn death touch on eventually. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll go to my turn. All right, I'll cut. And then untap and draw. All right. Okay, let's go and we will. One, two, three, two. Okay, so let's. So he's a he's a um he's quite he's a four two he's a four two at the moment. Okay. All right, so we've got one, two, three like this. Okay. I think I can do that. All right, I'm gonna cast Ancestor Recall yeah. and I'll retain priority and I'm gonna cast Lutri Spell Chaser to copy it. Um, to and I can do red three, right? Uh, let's do this one. There we go. All right, so I'm going to cast Lutri. I assume they resolve. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, this guy resolves. He's going to copy A call. There's a copy of A call. I'll cast the A call, draw three cards, two and three. And then I'll cast the actual A call itself and draw three cards. One, two, and three. Okay. All right. Uh, I was hoping to hit a land in that. Didn't actually hit the land. It's a lot of cards. They land. Yeah. All right. Probably, uh, uh, yeah. I really wanted to get Death Touch. Okay. Well, in that case, we will just minus to make your guy a little bit smaller. So he's a two, okay. two. So he becomes a two, two. Two. How big is that other creek? Cre Here's a got? three two. This is a okay. one one, no death touch yet. Okay. Okay. And then I'm probably going to go to my end step because I didn't hit the land. So <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll discard four cards. No. Um, two and three. And we don't need this anymore. Four. All right. Uh, I'll discard. Uh, cling to dust is great in the graveyard. Brainstorm is bad here because I've got enough cards I want. Spellseek is bad because I've already got a call. And uh, Gifts Ungiven is bad because I've already got a call and regrowth. So I <laughs> yeah, don't need any of them. And All what's right. your life total? My life total is six. And then I'll pass ten to you. Yeah. So I've drawn a, I've drawn a card. I've dropped a, a, a play to island. Yep. And now I'm thinking, uh, what can I do? Um, I wanna, I'm going to attempt to cast uh, Cephalid Illusionist. Oh, you got the combo, eh? Um, you need Thassa's Oracle to do it, though. I think. Yeah, I might actually do it. It's different, yeah. So that you have these colours. All right, so you still have mana up to play Thassa's Oracle. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Cephalid Illusionist will resolve. Okay, then I'm going to... Um... Equip it to Shuko. Yep. All right. You can mill three. Yep. So one, two, 
three. Yep. Um, I'll quit. Oh, I'll do it again. Okay, go for it. One, two, three. That's fine. Interesting. Uh, again. Yep. One. There's Thassa's oracle. Two. Three. Nice. Mm, that cast is good. Um, <clears throat> I'll do it again. Okay. Go for it. One, two, three, and again. Nice. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Again. One, two. All right. Listen, I don't have to worry about Jace. Okay. One, two, three. All right, don't have to worry about unearth. Okay. Well, uh, ooh. how much more am I going to do? Because it just depends on what what card you're looking for, right? Because if the oracle is in the graveyard and the unearth is in the graveyard. Uh, one, yep. two, three, one, two, three, mm -hmm. yep, one, really, yeah. two, three, okay. one, two, three, one, two, three, are right. you serious? How many cards in your deck now? Um... <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Surely you can't keep going. I'm gonna have to do one more time. Let's see what happens. What's what's the what's the combo piece? Two, it's three. Are you driving me insane? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop there. Yeah. And I think. I'm going to also attempt to cast a mentor. Ah, that's where this was going. Scary. Um, I'm going to remand the mentor. Sure. Your turn. Okay. On tap. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll draw. Okay. So it's the mentor plan you're on, eh? Okay, so um, let's go. Let's play uh, one mana for our cheeky old Nile spell bomb here. Okay. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to cast an assassin's trophy on your on your kitchen finks. Yep. Uh, and then I'll respond to its return to the battlefield trigger by cracking Nile's spell bomb. Yep. And two. All right. And I'll crack the spell bomb. I draw a card. You exile the graveyard. Kitchen Finks doesn't come back. You may search your library for a land, but you probably don't want to, even if you had one in there. No, right. I can search. No, I want to search for library. Yep. Uh, for land. It. Is it a just which basic one? Basic land. Basic land. Let's just yeah. have a look. Yeah, what am I doing? Well, to I'm find... Shuffling. I'm meant to shuffle my deck. I'm not meant to uh, search. I was going to like search for a uh, land from my fetch land. That's not what, not what I'm doing. I'm cracking for spell bomb. Every time you put something in the graveyard, you're like, oh yeah, it's just so used to fetch lands. A random card. Okay. Uh, all right. So we are ready for the beatdown train. So the Cephalid Illusionist has one toughness. Yeah, he's a two one. He's a two one at the moment. Yeah, two one. So I'll kill him. Yeah. And then the beatdowns begin. Boom, four damage. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to. Uh, let's see. So you're on. Uh, how many cards in hand? I've got three. I'll be three cards one. in hand, and I know one's a mentor. All right. Uh, and how many cards in your deck? Five. Uh, what do I got? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. 
Okay, uh, I'll pass to him. Well, so I'll tap. Draw. <laughs> yeah. Got some uh, things to make some tokens. Not really. Uh, flooded strand. Yep. So one, two, three. So one, two, three. So there we go. Uh, shuffle, shuffle. Yep. <laughs> I am. I am going to cast the mentor. One, or attempt to anyway. Two, three. Uh, yep, Mentor's going to resolve. Right, and then I'll cast uh, Liliana Trigger. Oh, wow. All right, you get a, you definitely get a token. Yep. Uh, and you've got a Cephalid Illusionist in the graveyard? Yeah. But you can't target yourself because it'll mill you too. Yep, it resolves. Okay, so uh, what have you got? Uh, the co co I'll call your flyer. Rattle, yeah. Yep. You got him. Yours. All right, nothing in a turn. Uh, and I'll just, sorry, I'll just put the sugar Agreed. onto the uh, Men mentor. Mentor or the token? Uh, actually, you can, token's only a 1-1 one, one anyway. 1-1, one, one, yeah. Kill it anyway. So yeah. I'll leave, I'll put it on the mentor. That's fair. All right, I'll draw. Okay. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to, Go one, two, three, and then we've got four. Okay. So colors one and two, and colors are one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, no, that should be right. All right. So let's. Uh, I'm going to ultimate Liliana. Yeah. All right. And uh, I will. One, two, yep. So let's not attack. Uh, and uh, so your Liliana's just going to go up, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to abrupt decay the mentor. Mm, yep. Uh, and then I shall. Uh, one, two, one, yep. Uh, I'll attack for three at you. Yep, so I'm on 18. No, right. six, 12, yeah, 18. Uh, then I'll cast Dak Fade and I'll target you. Draw two, discard two. Yeah. Uh, draw two. <laughs> um, interesting. Discard two. Yeah. Yep. I'll discard these two. Cool. Uh, I'm going to end my turn and I will put two tokens, zombie tokens out and I'll pass turn. Oh. I'm only got one card, so it's over. <laughs> yeah. But, but I had a good card. You've got, you got a turn. You've got one turn. Well, it's not bad. Lingering souls. Yep. Lingering souls. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. And then that's it. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> so I have evasive action for anything that tries to kill me there, whether it's a combo or whether it's the second half of Lingering Souls with the flying tokens to try and kill me. Because uh, if, you, if you didn't mill yourself so much with the, with the Cephalid, then... Yeah my DAC plan doesn't actually work and I have to play like a conventional game and the Lingering Souls will kill me. So I'd have to uh, <laughs> counter one half of the Lingering Souls and then use my Kess to like destroy one of the other Lingering Souls tokens, you know, or return, use my Kess to regrow my Lily yeah. to start killing the tokens, which again, I'm only on six life, so it's pretty hard to do. Um, I really wanted to hit the Cabal Therapy early. Yeah. To therapy me and like if you if you milled and you milled like on the first activation you milled therapy and or lingering souls yeah I think that's uh I I have to actually play a game where I'm killing 
four, you know, one one for one trades with four tokens. Yeah. Which is which means I'm gonna be using all my resources to do that. Um and makes it a lot harder. Yeah. All right, well no worries, thank you. Thank you for the games. Hopefully those at home enjoyed seeing the decks in action. Uh you get to see Cephalid Brunch versus uh or color control. Uh, Lutri has been very, very good. I've also quite liked that new land, the tri, tri and cycling land. So um, the testing has proven pretty, uh, pretty reliable. Looks like uh, I might sleeve up one of these decks that we've been testing the last couple of days for the uh, Great Toowoomba tournament, which is coming up, uh, run by the uh, Battle Station at Toowoomba, uh, which is an online Zoom tournament. So I'm looking forward to that. Yep, so am I. So yeah, see you guys then. Bye.